It's no secret that the Pentagon is focusing on the Indo-Pacific region with an eye on China. Reports now indicate that a key advancement is being made on the deployment of a powerful new sensor that will be stationed on the Pacific island of Palau. The sensor station, called the Tactical Mobile Over the Horizon Radar, or TACMOR, will enhance air and maritime domain situational awareness. The Department of Defense announced on December 28th that it had awarded a $118.4 million contract to Gilbane Federal for the construction of reinforced concrete pads and foundations in support of the installation of TACMOR equipment on the island. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the United States plans to keep an eye on Chinese activities in Indo-Pacific with its new long-range sensor. Let's get into the details. Palau, officially the Republic of Palau, and historically Balau, Palaus, and Palau, is an island country and microstate in the Western Pacific. The nation has approximately 340 islands and connects the western chain of the Caroline Islands with parts of the Federated States of Micronesia. It has a total of 466 square kilometers, or 180 square miles. It's about 1,400 kilometers, or 870 miles, from Guam and 2,700 kilometers, or 1,675 miles, from China. As evident, Palau is strategically located, and if a long-range sensor is placed there, it can provide great situational awareness. FY 2023 U.S. Air Force budget documents state, TACMOR will be operated by the United States and located in the Republic of Palau with the agreement of the government of Palau. Development, tests, and evaluation and acquisition of the system and associated components will provide warfighters with the capability to close gaps in surveillance coverage in key regions of the Pacific area of interest to the United States and our allies. A description of TACMOR from the FY 2023 USAF budget papers gives insight and is quoted as, A remote, unattended transmit site consisting of 10 elements and high-power amplifiers transmitting high-frequency HF, skywave over the horizon radar OTHR, waveforms. The transmit site will also consist of an HF vertical sounder antenna and an HF backscatter sounder providing ionogram information and optimizing frequency selection. A remote, unattended receive site consisting of 128 dual monopole antenna elements receiving the over-the-horizon reflected energy from the transmit site. The receive site also contains the secure facilities for signal processing of the received data and real-time target extraction information. This effort will also fund the communications infrastructure necessary to enable the data flow from the transmit and receive sites to an off-site operations control center. The operations control center plans and executes missions in support of the Combatant Command CCMD, and provides real-time target tracking information to all source information fusion and dissemination systems. TACMOR data will also be accessible to and exploited by the National Air and Space Intelligence Center NASIC, for detailed post-event analysis. Over the Horizon Radar OTH, sometimes called Beyond the Horizon Radar BTH, is a type of radar system with the ability to detect targets at very long ranges, typically hundreds to thousands of kilometers, beyond the radar horizon, which is the distance limit for ordinary radar. In general, radars are limited by line of sight due to the curvature of the Earth in relation to the altitude they are operating at. OTHRs overcome this critical problem, but with some limitations. 
OTHR are of two types, sky wave and surface wave type, and usually consist of a large array of antennas spread out over an area, and the transmission and receiver sites are usually geographically displaced. The sky wave type of OTHR achieves a very large range by bouncing their radio waves off the ionosphere to a coverage area where they hit targets and return through the same path to the receiving station. While they offer much lower fidelity than many of their line-of-sight counterparts in most cases, they have a huge range which can be more than 1,500 miles and have a large coverage area. The surface wave type of OTHRs uses the conductive salt water of the ocean and a radio wave's propensity to bend around curves under the Norton principle to propagate a radar wave over the horizon. This has a far less range than sky wave type OTHRs, but they also don't have a huge blind spot closer unlike the sky wave radar. With a range of around 200 miles, they are very useful in tracking ships, flow-flying aircraft, and cruise missiles far below the radar horizon. While OTHRs are not capable of independently generating engagement quality radar tracks with high-speed computer processing and artificial intelligence enabling software, an OTHR's lower fidelity data can be processed in real time and provide actionable outputs. Pairing SkyWave OTHR with Surface Wave OTHR can provide a more complete, layered picture of the situation nearby and far away from a given radar installation area. Another aspect is OTHR can spot stealthy targets that are optimized to evade detection by fire control and line-of-sight search radars. Deployment of TACMOR in Palau is one of the most strategically important decisions of recent times. The news comes as the Pentagon is trying to drastically beef up both its offensive and defensive capabilities in the Indo-Pacific. The region is becoming increasingly important as the United States is preparing for a potential high-end future conflict in the area against Chinese forces. OTHR allows for persistent monitoring of specific areas that would otherwise require many types of radar systems forward deployed over a huge area on the ground, in the air, and at sea at any given time. TACMOR in Palau will enable the United States to monitor not only the Indo-Pacific but also keep an eye on Chinese activities even on the mainland. Viewers may note that China militarized the South China Sea region by placing radar and air defense systems and anti-ship systems. It remains to be seen how it responds when it finds itself in the receiving end. Defense updates were started on 23 Jan 2015 to provide updates on military strategies, weapon systems as well as to present unbiased comparisons. New videos are uploaded every week. Subscribe to stay in touch.